Hi, my name is Miriam Axel, and I'm originally from Boston, USA. I'm a recent graduate of the MSc in Environmental Technology at Imperial College London Center for Environmental Policy, and I'm a current President Scholar PhD candidate also at the Center for Environmental Policy at Imperial. One of the reasons that I decided to pursue a postgraduate degree at Imperial is because in today's increasingly competitive job market, having a degree from a world-class university like Imperial with very strong connections to industry, government, and a range of other sectors can really set you apart from other applicants for jobs. I think that it can help both jumpstart a career, help transition into a new career, or just deepen your understanding of a subject in a way that you don't have access to or the opportunities to really engage with industry and other actors uh, that you do in undergraduate. In my case, I used it as a jumping off point to do a PhD, and this was really great preparation. I found that the master's degree uh, really helped prepare me for research, and I noticed that in my case, I felt that undergraduate was a bit of a process of really learning how to learn, whereas during the master's, things finally started coming together. There was a lot more group work, um, and I felt it was much more of a hands-on approach that I really appreciated. In terms of the application process, it can be a big challenge to try to present yourself in a couple of pages, explain who you are, where you're from, what your aspirations and goals are, and your reason for applying to this course. And I guess my advice for that is first, try to start as early as possible. I think it really helps to speak to people, people who are either on the course that you're interested in pursuing, potentially professors, and other students who have gone through the application process. In my case, I had to submit a letter explaining why I wanted to join the course and then have three references. And it really helps to connect with your, your referees in advance, try to do it as much in advance as possible, and really allow yourself time to think about why it is that you want to do this specific course, what you hope to gain from it, and where you see yourself in the future. And it's a fun and exciting exercise because you can really think about where you want to use this master's to take you in the future, whether you want to pursue a career in industry, whether you want to continue on for research, and this exercise of really thinking about why this course seems the perfect fit for you can help sort of hone in what you want to do in the future. In terms of my own experience, um, as far as the master's course, I really enjoyed it and I think the proof is the fact that I couldn't leave. I stayed on for the PhD. I think what was so exciting about it for me was that um, my, my own program, the, the MSc in Environmental Technology, is divided into three portions of the year. So the very first part of the course is a core course where you have exposure to 10 different classes. In my case, I had never studied law before. My undergraduate was in uh, geosciences and earth physics. And it was the first time that I had exposure to environmental law and environmental policy. The course itself really takes environmental technology to be anything that can potentially help climate change mitigation, environmental protection. Um, so it was very interesting to have exposure to a range of different subjects, a range of different ideas and ways of approaching things. And what was particularly exciting about it for me was that there's always something new for everybody. So people came from a wide range of backgrounds and the core course is really designed to get everybody on a kind of level playing field. One of my favorite things about Imperial is its location. It's smack in the center of one of the coolest areas of London, South Kensington. So it's right next to the Royal Albert Hall where the graduation takes place, which is always really fun. Um, and it's right next to the Natural History Museum, the Science Museum, and across the street from the Victoria and Albert Museum. And the great thing is that all of the museums are free. So it means that during your lunch break, you and your friends can just pop across, have lunch in one of the museums, take a quick tour around, um, or go for a stroll through the Hyde Park, which is also a great way to kind of get away from the hustle and bustle of the city. Relocating to London is both really exciting and can be quite a big transition, particularly if you're an international student. My advice is to connect with Imperial's Office for International Students, where they have a wide range of resources particularly designed to support you, whether it's information from visa applications, helping you find housing, or just providing a social network to help you kind of fit into your new home. That for me was one of the things that really helped, and the housing office as well can help you find the perfect place to live. One of the things that I'm incredibly grateful for at Imperial is the high degree of support, both from a university level and down to my department and my supervisor and my cohort, particularly in the context of the COVID-19 pandemic. We've been receiving weekly emails updating us on the public health situation and the campus's response to that. 
as well as updates from within our department and how changes are being implemented. Uh, and then as well as updates from our supervisors and our research groups or the master's courses. And I think what's particularly important is that it's a combination of both really crucial information and public health and safety advice and tips, as well as information on the ongoing research that's being done at Imperial's campus to combat the virus and to work towards finding a vaccine. If you're interested in pursuing a postgraduate degree at Imperial, which again, I can't recommend highly enough, my advice would be to speak to previous students who have done the course that you're interested in doing, as well as talk to current students and see what their experience is like. I would also recommend reaching out to professors who are either within the department that you're interested in being placed in or in a related field to see how your interests might align with the potential course that you're looking at. I would also recommend trying to start thinking about what it is that you want to do afterwards because it'll help really set you up for success.